good morning everyone i am jean thomas and here i am going to discuss about one of the famous personalities in the corporate world the former chairman and ceo of xerox corporation she is none other than ann m mulcahy and about her personal details ann m mulcahy is an american and she was born in october 21 1952 in rockville center new york she pursued her education from marymount college in ba in 1974 she was married jo mulcahy and has two children her career in xerox starts from 1976 to 2002 born in 1952 and is the only girl child in the family and she was raised in the same way her four brothers was raised were raised this helped her to turn into a strong determined person who could take things in her stride her sound upbringing upbringing helped her to cross each hurdle life threw at her with ease and tactfulness she completed her primary education in a catholic school and went on to do her degree in english and journalism at marymount college in 1974 she joined the rocks in 1976 as a field sales representative about her roles and responsibilities she was most recently the chairman of xerox corporation she stepped down in from this role and also from the xerox board effectively on may 20 2010 From prior to serving as CEO, Mulcahy was President and Chief Operating Officer of Xerox from May 2000 to July 2001. She has also served as President of Xerox General Markets Operations, which created and sold products for reseller, dealer and retail channels. In addition to serving on the Xerox board, she has been a member of the Board of Directors of Catalyst Corporation. City Group Incorporation, Fuji Xerox Corporation Limited, and Target Corporation. The challenge she faced a lot of challenges. The Xerox surprised the business world in 2001 by naming the first woman CEO in the company's history, Anne Mulcahy. During that time, she was a 24-year veteran with little hardcore executive experience. Right after she was appointed the stock gone down by 16% when Mulcahy became the CEO of the company Xerox was teetering on the verge of chapter 11 bankruptcy the company had over 17 billion dollars in debt and had recorded losses in each of the preceding 6 years a recent organization of the company's sales force had not gone according to the plan customers were unhappy and the economy had started to fall on top of all of that xerox found itself in the middle of protracted investigation by the securities and exchange commission of accounting improprieties in its mexico unit from the beginning mulcahy and her team devised a bold plan for recovery and she has succeeded in that Almost immediately she addressed the company's liquidity issues and quickly raised 2.5 billion dollars in cash through a back to basics approach and a renewed focus on operational efficiency the company cut its capital expenditures by 50% reduced its sales general and administrative expenses by 1/3 and slashed its total debt in half all the while Xerox strengthened its core business by maintaining an organization wide focus on innovation. Mulcahy said that effective communication was perhaps the single most important component of the company's successful turnaround strategy and then followed the advice of billionaire investor Warren Buffett to pay attention to the customers. When the media had almost written it off as a dead company Mulcahy brought it brought back in track within a short span of time. She was fiercely loyal to Xerox and traveled first 90 days of becoming a CEO to various offices 
to understand what was wrong with Xerox. She gave a lot of time in listening to customers and employees and that paid off. She brought by confidence in her employees and instilled a level of optimism in them to bring life to her vision. By 2004, Xerox returned to profitability and it experienced growth which it did not witness in previous days. Mulcahy saw communication as the most important tool for a leader. She believes strongly that her success as a leader is driven by her commitment to understand and meet customers' requirements as well as developing and nurturing a motivated and proud workforce in her organization. Mulkey says that she thinks she is more motivated by fear of failure than her desire to succeed. Her experience at Xerox has taught her that crisis is a very powerful motivator. It forces us to make choices that we probably wouldn't have made otherwise. It intensifies our focus, our competitiveness, our relentless desire to attain best-in-class status. We want to do everything we can to make sure that we don't lose that now that we were back on track. And these are all about the success story of Anne M. Mulcahy. Thank you.